Hello, this is Minecralix here, and today I will show you how to build a mob grinder for Skyblock in Minecraft. So, what you will need is, you will need tons of solid blocks. I'm using a block of iron just because it has those solid edges, which are very, very easy to count. You need about, um, let's see, you need about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, you need around, um two full rows full of any solid block hoppers are optional if you have iron but most likely you don't chests are also optional uh, which go which just simply is the storage medium for the hoppers so anyway to start i'm just inside a skyblock world right now to prove how well it works in skyblock so to start you just simply need to expand your island like so doesn't really matter how much blocks expanded now that we got that going you have to build a base which is five which is let's see one two three yeah it's four by four but you do not have to place a solid block here and since solid blocks are an expensive commodity in minecraft especially early in the game you can omit the side blocks here so what you have to do is including this block you have to count 24 blocks up so it's gonna be one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four and i'll and i'll just come back when i fill in all of these other blocks Alright guys, now that we have built the tunnel drop for the mobs to drop and die, we have to build a space for the mobs to spawn. So, you have to count 7 blocks out, not including this block right here, if including this block, 8 blocks, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And you do that on each and every side of the spawner, uh, no, on each side of the the little tunnel drop system let's see one two three All right, now that we got that set up, here we have to build the walls and the actual platforms where they spawn on. This will be where the water flows into here and um, basically funnels all the mobs down here. And one thing I forgot to say is that, yes, this grinder does require a water bucket, although it does still work when dry. You just have to put trapdoors down. If you want this to be a dry design, you will simply have to put trapdoors on the sides. So you just build a two high wall on each side right here. You could destroy the block underneath here if you want, but I just like to destroy it. Or you could just leave it anyway. If you're doing this in a survival world, double check every step that you're doing because it will save you a lot of grief, definitely. And, oh, I, I, don't, I don't do these yet. Um, I don't do the sides right here yet. It will save you a lot of grief to double check everything that you're doing and make sure that you have enough cobblestone when you're building or, or whatever solid block if you could build it using oak wood planks as well. But just simply make sure that you have enough cobblestone or whatever solid block you're using to build this grinder because once you get up here it is pretty difficult to get down from here so and if night falls while you still haven't built the grinder built the grinder then what's going to happen is mobs are going to spawn here and next time when you go up here to finish the mob grinder design they're going to most likely kill you so uh, yeah and the creepers could destroy your mob grinder as well because cobblestone isn't that strong against 
creeper explosions. Anyway, so just simply fill in all of these areas just right here. This is super, super easy. Everything is made so that it will be extremely easy for you to build. This doesn't require any redstone at all. It, you could just be a complete newbie at Minecraft. It could be your first day to playing Minecraft, and this is just extremely easy to build. But, of course, I will be adding a few mechanisms that are optional to the grinder, such as the hopper chest collection system, which will be at the bottom. But that is for automated drop collection, which is definitely not necessary for everyone with a Skyblock world, because we all know that to get iron, we need, in Skyblock, we need either iron golems or hand killing of zombies, which both require, um... A mob grinder so if this is your first grinder you will not be able to add hoppers in and that's mainly a late game thing for skyblock because iron isn't that easy to get in skyblock and this grinder is so universal if you are playing at 1.8 this grinder it is basically the cornerstone of all skyblock maps because this grinder provides with bones, it provides with flesh, it provides with zombie villagers, and later I will show you a design that can be used to, um, yes, and then just cap it off right over here, and also just place some walls over here, up here, right here, yep, and just make it too high, oh, just... Yeah, so just make it um, um, just make it too high right here because you don't have to have it three high. If you are low on building blocks in Minecraft, like in Skyblock, personally, I don't like mining cobblestone because it takes very long to mine cobblestone. I prefer to actually not have. I prefer to basically like only place blocks where they absolutely necessary to place and this skyblock tutorial is for just people starting out with skyblock so this is the most easiest and most block efficient design out there because it does not require any redstone at all it is super easy all you need is a few solid blocks and basically that's it because you don't need anything more unless of course you want automated drops because automated drop collection because in that case you will actually need to have iron and hoppers for that but that is definitely late game just like I said so then you just continue encasing this all in this tiny little grinder right here and so what you do now is you can get slabs now I do, do actually recommend using slabs just the bottom half of a slab because this will save you a lot of grief if you're not using slabs then what's gonna happen is mobs will spawn on top of here if it's not lit so if you want you can use solid blocks but then solid blocks require more resources because you can get because slabs are cheaper crafting cobblestone into slabs makes more slabs than full blocks so you can get two slabs out of every cobblestone block of course that's not the crafting recipe the crafting recipe is three uh three cobblestone in a row f um which yields six slabs which means that is two cobblestone for each slab so this maximizes the efficiency of the slabs making it very very efficient to slab the ceiling up and what's even more is that you don't even have to worry about mob spawning up here. Now, unfortunately, you won't be able to build up here because if you build up here, it's going to leave this gap here, which is not aesthetically pleasing. And you will have to make some changes to the slabbing if you want to stack this farm design. And yes, if anybody has a question, this farm design is indeed stackable. It can be stacked up to the height limit. It can get amazing mob drops. You could just have like a hundred drops a second if you um, if you basically stack it up to height limit which is 254 which right here as you can see I'm in Y 94 so it's not too much space to go but 
you can definitely st um, stack it up to very, very high proportions, and that will yield you a very, very amazing amount of a very, very amazing amount of um, drops per second. And one thing I forgot to mention is that you'll also want to slab this part of the grinder as well, because this is a spawning block, and we want to eliminate this as a spawning block. If you are using a full block here, you do not have to place a full block in here. And let me set the time to zero real quick. Um, slash set time zero. Hmm, let's see. Time set zero. Yeah, sorry for that, guys. So you just have to slab up this side of the grinder as well, just for more efficiency so mobs don't spawn up here. Now, a thing, one thing to note here is that these slabs, they have a visual glitch inside the grinder, which makes it seem like the grinder is lit up inside right here. And let me just show you that real quick. So, as you can see right here, it looks like the light is coming through the slabs over here. Now, this doesn't mean much. You should not worry, because all this is is just a visual glitch, and it will definitely not affect your spawning rates. So, when I finish this, I'll continue filming. I probably have bored you out all guys already. Hello and welcome back, guys. I have completely slabbed up the ceiling, and there is definitely a visible glitch up here where it seems that it where it seems that the light is coming through, but it is just a visual glitch. I promise, guys, it is not going to affect your spawning rates at all. So I just put this um, glowstone right here for reference. You just place down the water into this block right here and this block right here. And it is set up so perfectly for you guys. You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is just simply pour the water right over here. And it is just set up all so perfectly for you guys. You don't have to do any complicated water stuff. You don't have to do any redstone. Any, none of that. You just place it down here. Um, now, a thing that may increase your spawn rates is placing trapdoors on the top edge right here. This is definitely not necessary, and you will get legendary spawn rates even without this, but if you are making the design a dry design, meaning that it doesn't have any water in it, then you will most likely have to place these trapdoors on the top side of this block here because it works that the zombies, um, the, all of the mobs, think that this is a full block. So when they w walk around, they will just walk off the edge right here, which will um, basically increase your... Um, it, will, mm, it will make more spawn rates because the... The skeleton creepers, all the mobs basically will much quicker. The quicker they get out of the spawning zones, the more efficient your spawn rates may be. There may be many, many creepers and skeletons and zombies here and witches, but if they do not get efficiently carried away, then this design won't be very efficient because what's going to happen is they're going to be taking up all of these spawn spaces here so it is definitely better to have them get out of the spawning spaces as quick as possible and just one quick note is that if you're if you're using this without water if for any reason the survival world you're playing has no water much like my one tree survival let's play please check that out it doesn't get much views if you're playing in a world like I'm playing in, and you don't have any water in, I do strongly suggest to place trapdoors down, just in case, because it makes the zombies, the skeletons, the witches, the, the creepers, every mob, more willing to drop down in here, and looks like some mobs have already spawned here, so let me just kill them off real quick. And they did not drop down, they just simply... So yes, guys. And yes, one thing that is very, very important to know, guys, is that this mob grinder, it is so large that it blocks out sunlight. So I recommend placing just these glowstone or, uh, or basically any, um, or basically a torch or I just, 
recommend you guys place torches around the edges because this mob grinder it blocks out the sun so much that it makes it it basically makes it night every time down here and look at that guys we're getting such good spawn rates and a witch has already spawned which gets us spider eyes and this is an extremely effective design it doesn't require anything and we're already getting glowstone and redstone from um which is this is the best way um this is the best way early game in skyblock to get redstone or basically any um any you can get or basically um you can get sugar from the witches you can get sticks from the witches you can get redstone from the witches you can get glowstone dust from the witches it's 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 just amazing you you don't even have to go to the nether to get glowstone you, you just have to farm some some witches and guys this this design is also capable of supporting of supporting rare drops now if you need rare drops for any reason and rare drops include carrots potatoes and iron all of which are extremely useful for this and look at that guys looks like we are getting some spider spawns and one thing to note is that some of these spiders when they drop down some of them don't instantly die but some of them um, but they just climb up and then they fall back down and they will eventually die so if you're just mining cobblestone or anything or here you will, can always just go inside here to collect the drops once in a while and it will be super efficient i promise you guys you'll have double chest filled with loot it's going to be awesome guys but in the case scenario where you need iron and iron is extremely extremely important in skyblock as we know what you can do is you can just you can go two blocks up no, let's see you can go two blocks up, and if you go like this, what's going to happen is the, all of the mobs are going to be one-hit kills. You can see, they're just all one-hit kills, which is super efficient. Um, so, you just have to... Let's see, just so many mobs here. Let me just set it to peaceful real quick. So, what you do is you just, you just have to slab up this portion right here. And this allows the and this allows you to just stand here and let me just send it to hard back again. Let's get some spawns over here. So this is very very efficient design because it allows you to one hit kill zombies and creepers and basically any mob without armor. And come on guys, spawn. I don't see. So you can just stand here and this. Um, these slabs right here prevent the zombies and every mob from going outside. And, of course, some of them do die for some reason, but this design is not 100% efficient, as some mob drops do get destroyed. Well, they don't get destroyed, but some mob drops do despawn if you take too long to collect them. Many of them do despawn, despawn after two minutes, so make sure that when you're mining cobblestone, every two minutes, you come over here and you collect some of the mob drops over here. So, one thing that I forgot to show you guys is a design for if you want to have automatic mob drop collection. All you have to do is, for anybody that doesn't know how to, let me just go to peaceful just real quick, just for ease. All you have to do is just have to go one block down, just go down here, because the, the um, hopper counts as a... Uh, block so you will have to go one block down over here so all you have to do let me just create a little platform for me to stand on so what you do is you place just hoppers down right here just place a hopper down so you just place a chest down here then you shift click a hopper inside the chest over here shift click a hopper inside the chest over here and then you shift click oh actually no you have to most likely you will be able to place it only if it's oh yeah that's excuse me guys so you'll just have to 
so yeah you just shift click that inside over here then you just put hoppers leading into this hopper and then you shift click hoppers in here so it's gonna happen if a drop goes inside this one right here it's gonna go inside this hopper which will feed inside the chest if it goes in any of this chest it automatically goes inside the chest over down here if it goes into this hopper right here it will go down into the chest as well and this is a pretty efficient design because let me just I'm just gonna drop say rotten flesh in here and then it goes down pretty so, so as you can see it's just draining down into the right here and it's just you're just gonna get double chests full of items it, it's, it's just crazy like if you just start AFKing and let me just put it to hard just for a demonstration and of course, we many of us don't have glass in Skyblock, but if you do have glass from Villager Trading, it does help to put glass down here so you can just look. And you just go down here and you just collect the drops, and I promise you guys, you will have just tons and tons of drops here. Now I'm going to expand this. I um, expand this mob grinder right here i'm gonna stack it up i think i might may or may not stack it up all the way to the top to see what kind of spawns we get and then i'll just come back guys but if i won't come back thank you all for watching this is my calyx i hope this tutorial wasn't too long this is what's mine calyx see you all in the next video